it's hard to admit when you were wrong. It's hard to admit to someone that they were right and you were wrong because that's an embarrassing feeling. That's a shameful feeling. That's a guilty feeling to admit that this person was right about something and you were wrong about something. But in order to grow as an individual, in order to grow as a man or a woman, as a human being in general, you have to learn to embody that embarrassment. You got to learn to embody that guilt and that shame. Embody meaning like you got to learn to live above that. You got to learn to feel that embarrassment of admitting to someone that they were right and you were wrong and do it anyway. You got to learn to feel that shame and guilt of admitting to someone they were right and you were wrong and do it anyway, man. You have to do that because once you do it that one time and realize that it's not as bad as you thought it was, once you realize that embarrassment isn't as bad as you thought it was, that shame and admitting that you were wrong is as bad as you thought it was, then when future events comes and you were wrong again, you make a mistake again, now you're not gonna feel ashamed to go admit that you're wrong. You're not gonna feel embarrassed to go admit that you're wrong. It's gonna feel like a normal thing to do. It's going to feel like a normal thing to do to be able to admit that you're wrong and that this person was right. It's going to get to that point. That's the point. That's the point I'm at in my life right now. Like, I know I'm wrong sometimes. I know I make mistakes. I know that I'm not always right. And I'm okay with admitting that. But I also know that, like, I also know that lying to yourself only causes you more pain. Lying to yourself, meaning that you know the right thing to do is to make that you're wrong, but your embarrassment is clouding you from making that right decision. Your shame and guilt is blinding you from making the right decision. And a lot of us are living that way, bro. A lot of us are living with like embarrassment, with shame and guilt and those emotions are preventing us from doing the right thing because we don't want to feel embarrassed. We don't want to feel shame. We don't want to feel guilty for admitting that we were wrong. But I think embodying those emotions and doing what's right anyway is going to help you grow as an individual. It's going to help you improve yourself as a man or as a woman, as a human being. So. You got to learn to do that, man. You got to learn to do that. You got to learn to just do what's right no matter what, man. And I'm kind of all over the place in this video, but I think you get my point, man. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Just continue being independent. Continue living with independency. But you can add other perspectives onto your own independency. Independency doesn't mean I'm doing this by myself. I don't need anyone's help. I don't need anyone's guidance at all. Independency, in my opinion, means I'm going to do this myself, but I'm okay with seeking advice from other people on how to do this myself. I'm okay with seeking guidance from other people on how to do this myself, on how to do this myself the right way. I see this person is living independently, doing his thing the right way. So I'm okay with seeking guidance and asking him for help on how to do it my way, the right way. Like, that's all I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. I'm sending peace, sending love, sending blessings as always. Elevate.